Welcome back everyone, it's Zach Lesage here from Rare Candy and we are back with another video in my post rotation what do cards do that are playable in this rotation. So for those of you who don't know or who haven't watched another videos in this series yet, we kind of have cards that we have lost in the rotation that had specific purposes in your deck and with a lot of those cards rotating, such as Zorak GX, you might be wondering, where do we go from here? Or how do I build my deck, Zach? Well, here I'm here, I'm gonna showcase some cards that do specific functions. In this case of the video, we're gonna be looking over consistency crutches. So cards that allow you to kind of, you just, the little, they make your deck a little bit more consistent where they have a specific purpose for your deck. So we have 10 cards here today that I'd like to go over. I'll explain some of their uses or how they work one by one just so if you're building a deck you're looking for that extra little bit of consistency we can definitely help you out here so let's jump into this video right now i hope you enjoy it so the first card on our list right here is persian gx so persian gx it evolves from meowth so it is a stage one pokemon keep that in mind and it has a sizable amount of hp but we're really looking at its ability here catwalk so if one of your GX Pokemon, and in this case EX Pokemon are not available in our format, just so you know, um, was knocked out during your opponent's last turn, so let's say you had a Blastoise GX that was knocked out, um, you may search your deck for up to two cards. Any two cards, put them into your hands. You can't use any more than one Catwalk ability per turn, but for the most part, Catwalk is kind of that saving grace after a Pokemon's knocked out. It's kind of uh, that payback to your opponent being like, ha ha ha, I get two cards. Um, it does have some decent attacks, but in this video specifically, we're looking for those consistency crutches, so Catwalk. Um, I know personally I played this card in the 2019 Madison Regional Championships um, that just came by, I believe it was in June. Yeah, June. Um, and I played this in my Blacephalon GX deck. So whenever my opponent knocked out my active Blacephalon GX, I would use the Catwalk ability to search my deck for a couple Beast Ring. Now, the Persian GX doesn't need to be in play the turn that your GX Pokemon's knocked out. It needs to be played, it either needs to be in play or it needs to be played the turn that your Pokemon was knocked out. So just so you know, that's a little bit of a bonus tip there. I know some people can get that confused, but there's nothing that says that it holds it back from doing that at all. And that's how the card plays out. Um, so I was searching out Beast Ring. Maybe you want to search out some other cards. Um, there, maybe you need some damage modifier cards. Maybe you need a consistency card because your hand doesn't have a supporter. Maybe you're looking for a triple acceleration energy to attack with Persian GX itself. The possibilities with this cards are endless, or at least they end with whatever you put in your deck. In this format, we don't have a lot of ways to search out those one-of cards or even new cards that are coming out like Reset Stamp. Persian GX would be a great way to get your deck to jump back into the game, but only if you're active po even, only if one of your GX Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn. And reading through this card, it doesn't necessarily even have to be your active Pokemon. So if the new Naganadel GX or Picarom sniped a GX Pokemon off your bench, Persian GX will allow you to use Catwalk and get some cards to jump back into the game. Next up on our list, we have McCargo here. So kind of a little bit of a weird card. Um, it's a stage one again. So it does evolve from Slugma. You will have to include that into your deck, but it will allow you to put any card on top of your deck from your deck. So maybe you're looking for that one of card, a specific card that you need to complete the combo that you're searching for. McCargo will help you grab that card in a pinch. Um, now, usually this card was played with Oranguru in decks such as Granbull or even Buzzwool Garbodor earlier on last season, but there might be new cards. We do have Acrobike in our format, so you could just quickly grab a card that you need um, from Smoothover and then draw the card off of Acrobike. Maybe you just have a card, a supporter that allows you to draw like a Lily. Mikargo can help you in a pinch search for any specific card that you need, whether it's a Shrine of Punishment, the upcoming Great Potion. Maybe even it's a single piece that you need for like your custom catcher. You already have one in your hand and you're looking for the other one. This can help you kind of smooth over your deck. Next card we have here. So I was hesitant to include this card into the list because it falls more under a draw card. But then I thought of it, I'm like, you wanna know what, how do we use Abstrika? It's not a normal draw because you have to discard your hands and then you draw your cards. But Zabstrika may allow you to draw into more cards than you would have necessarily had been able to do so before. So with a couple of you can thin through your deck and draw, draw a new hand. This card is seen play in Shedinja decks, so more of a control-based decks to grab cards back with a Ranguru. 
and it's also seen play in uh, Zapdos Jirachi decks in the past too to make the deck a little bit more consistent. So if you think you can handle the drawback of discarding your hand, or if your deck can get to a low hand size, Zebstrika might be that engine that you need to kind of make your deck a little bit more consistent in this format. Jirachi. So this is actually probably the biggest and most best consistency crutch that we have in our format. So if it's your active Pokemon, you look at the top five cards of your deck, and then you reveal a trainer card you find there. So any trainer, supporter, stadium, Pokemon, tool, whatever we got going on there, even those Prism Star stadiums, um, you put that into your hand, and then you shuffle the rest of the cards back into your deck, Jirachi falls asleep. Normally, this card is paired with a skateboard, which we do have in format, or you could play it with Switch, um, just so you could even go into another Jirachi or go right into Attacker. But this card, the, the best way to do it is start with the card or retreat into this card and then use Stellar Wish. Or when your opponent's Pokemon uh, knocks out your active or one of your Pokemon, you could bring out the Jirachi and use Stellar Wish again. Um, so if you're looking for a way to search out trainer cards, Jirachi is a great way to do so and making your deck a little bit more consistent, especially if you're missing that little bit of buzz. Now, I do recommend playing this card with either an escape board or switch or both because the asleep will really hurt you, especially if your Jirachi just stays asleep. It can give your opponent extra time to set up. So if you have those cards, you're likely good to go. But until then, Jirachi is one of the best consistency crutches we have in the game. Um, Lapras. So a lot of you people, um, or a lot of you viewers might not have actually read this card because it's not relatively played, but in our new format, you might want to look at the top two cards of your deck and put them back in any order. Um, maybe you just need that single card on top of your deck. Maybe it's going to help you get out of a pinch. It's a little bit of a weird consistency crutch, but in certain stall decks or in, I guess even a water deck or any deck there is, maybe you just want to have a better chance of drawing a card. Um, especially in those situations where you're one card away from completing your combo and you're trying to draw it with Lily because you're only able to draw one card, Lapras can definitely get you there. Um, either that, you could just always place the top card to have a slightly better chance of drawing what you need per turn. Acrobike. So again, one of these cards I was hesitant to put on the list because it is technically a draw card. A lot of decks are including this to kind of boost the consistency. Um, not every deck can handle this card because they can't discard a lot of cards. There's no Rescue Stretcher or um, Super Rod available in this format, but we do have Brock's Grit in this format. So just so you know, Acrobike is a great way to boost the consistency of your deck, especially if you are okay with the drawback of discarding a card or if you're happy with the drawback of discarding a card. So if your deck's a little bit inconsistent, maybe try adding some acro bikes into it. Um, Pokegear 3.0, similar to acro bike. Um, this gives you a little bit of a boost. It's kind of like a Jirachi, but it only allows you to search for a supporter card. It's a trainer card though. So you can play this and play a supporter in the same turn. It can give you that little bit more of a reach that you need, especially as we've lost Tapu Lele GX in this format. We've lost Marshadow, all these kind of shuffle, draw, search your deck kind of cards. Pokegear kind of fits into that niche a little bit closer than you'd think. So if you're having um, a struggle to search your deck for supporters, Pokegear might be able to get you there. It, it does always suck though when you miss a Pokegear. I know at uh, the North American International Championships, I played Baby Blacephalon and I did play four copies of this Pokegear. Um, it would have been really great if I could have got a few more supporters off of it. I did play a low supporter count, but this is a great way to grab some of your tech supporters or even some of your main supporters if your hand's looking a little dim. Pokenav. So a little bit of a lesser known card here. You have to look at the top three cards of your deck. You can search your deck for a, grab a Pokemon or an energy card you find there and put the cards back in any order. So if you need to search your deck, get a Pokemon or an energy card. So if you play a lot of those types of cards, Pokenav might be your card. Um, other than that, it's just kind of like an okay-ish card. I might not totally recommend this card, but depending on the deck, it could actually be fairly decent. Next card is Red's Challenge. So similar to Computer Search in the expanded format, um, you discard two cards from your hand and you search your deck for any card. So a lot of ways that players are using this card is to search out cards such as Rare Candy or those specific one of texts that are very difficult to search for. Red's Challenge doesn't really necessarily fit in anywhere, but it fits in everywhere if that makes sense because it can grab any specific card that you need. So if you're finding um, your deck is lacking that kind of oomph to kind of grab any specific card like a rare candy 
or maybe you need like that one of reset stamp that you run after unified minds is released or you're looking for a specific pokemon or maybe even need the drawback of discarding the two cards from your hand maybe for tapu coco prism star or to use naganadel's charging up ability red's challenge might be the card for you seriously consider it it's not that bad of a card at all Last but not least, we have Steven's Resolve on this list. So search your deck for up to three cards and put them into your hands. Shuffle your deck afterwards, your turn's over. So it's a little bit weird, but you could grab like two rare candies off this card and the stage two that you need. So running this in conjunction with um, kind of like a way to grab basic Pokemon, such as Netball or used Pokemon Communication, you could also use Steven's Resolve after that. Now, I will admit that when Reset Stamp comes out in this format, in Unified's Mind format, that is, um, they can just play a Reset Stamp even early game to shuffle your hand back to five or six cards, however many cards you have as prize cards at the time. So Steven's Resolve's play might die off a little bit there, but it has seen a lot of play in Stage 2 decks, and in stall decks in the past in order to grab a large amount of cards and specific cards that you need. So if you find that you need multiple specific cards, you might not want to lean towards a red's challenge and go with Steven's Resolve. But again, do note that um, that reset stamp is coming out. And also people could play Judge after this card as well. So that could shuffle things back. So keep that in mind. But beyond that, and as of right now, Steven's Resolve seems like a great card in our format to grab multiple cards, specifically multiple specific cards. So those are all the cards that allow you to get kind of some consistency, that little bit of extra push for your deck, um, making your deck a little bit more tight, um, cohesive, and together. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video today, and I hope that it's going to allow you to build some of your decks, make them a little bit more stronger in the post-rotation metagame that's going to happen later on in August. If you haven't read about that, there's an article on Pokemon.com that explains it. You could probably just Google search um, Pokemon Rotation 2020, and it will pop up within the first couple searches. So if you did enjoy this content, be sure to give this video a like, a subscribe, share it with your friends, your neighbors, anyone who's ready and willing to learn about Pokemon and enjoys watching content great well-produced content um, and if you do like our channel a lot consider becoming a patron patron.com slash rare candy tcg um, it would really help us out in supporting our channel making greater produced videos and making better content for you the people who enjoy watching our videos so that being said that's it for today we there will be more videos in this series coming out so keep your eyes peeled for those like i said i'm zach lesage you can follow me on twitter at z lesage Pokemon to follow exactly what I'm doing on my Pokemon journey as I traverse to become one of the best players in the game. So that being said, that's all for today. Have yourself a great one.